Hello, everybody, and welcome to North Andover, Massachusetts, where today the Merrimack College Warriors will play host to the Duquesne Dukes in arguably the biggest home football game in school history. Elliott this time fakes to Edmonds, looks to the end zone, throws one, has a man open. It's caught for the Warrior touchdown, Jakari Carter. Just like the Warriors drew it up, they come right down the field and take a 6-0 lead. It'll be Darius Parentis here on a second down and goal from the two. Looking to pass, he goes to the end zone, throw one up and coming down with it is his man, that Cyrus Holder on the jump ball. 6-4 target, why not throw it up to him? Man coverage and Duquesne has their first score. And then he finds himself here at Merrimack in North Andover. Uh-oh, oh. that one's picked off. Jeremiah Josephs down the middle. He'll be tackled inside the 10. That ball was thrown behind Roberts, and Joseph juggled it till he had it and returns it inside the 10. A costly interception that time. It's the first interception of the year for Josephs. First down play, it's handed off right up the middle. Goes Billy Lucas after a nice cutback. And Lucas with the second touchdown for Duquesne. It just took one play after the interception, a five-yard run for Billy Lucas. Isabella in motion, Parentis. He is seeing a blitz. He's got a man open, though. It's Gill. Did he get a foot down in the back? He did. Touchdown, Gill. What a throw. What a catch, though, by Joaquin Gill on the back edge of the end zone. Parentes motions Owens out of the backfield here on a fresh set of downs. Now he's looking deep for Owens. He's got him, and it's caught for the touchdown. Garrett Owens down the sideline. A beautiful throw from Darius Parentes. Why not? He saw coverage he liked, threw it up, and his big running back does the rest. This is just excellent execution by the Dukes. Third down and goal. They're looking to throw it here. Throws deep to Owens in the end zone. Oh, I think he got that. Why not? Darius Parentis rolled out to his left, throws up to his big back again, and Garrett Owens just doing big boy things out there. His second touchdown reception. In Connecticut next week, Sacred Heart, another one of the top teams, the NEC coming in. Here's Elliott to the end zone, one final play, and it's incomplete. It's broken up. The pass was intended once again for Tyler Roberts. Falls incomplete in our final score. 37 for Duquesne, 14 for Merrimack. Again, some promising things here today for the Warriors, but ultimately four interceptions for Elliott. Duquesne able to exploit in a big day for Garrett Owens. We've said his name a bunch, but deserves the recognition 